Make an absolute certain. There's Ben Walton to get us underway. Lays it back to Chris Rowney, who finds John O'Hunt. Long ball forward. Here's Walton. Header out towards at the back post. Here comes Bailey, balling to the area. Still pinging around, waiting for Norris to pick it up, but that shot is over the bar. On the line by Bailey. Looking for options, here's Evangelinos, left on side. Looks to get across, and it's... There's the opening goal. No, cool no it's not. It's the uh, ripple of the uh, side netting <laughs> confusing me there, but... Enos, there we go. You've had plenty of practice. Uh, Matty Williams tried to put it was under pressure, but he did get the shot off. Corner high again towards Copperthwaite at the back post. That's cleared. Here's Bailey, ball into the area. That's a header again away. Free player on the edge of the area there. And the shot comes in from Lickoy, and there is the opening goal. Halfway inside the uh, Lancaster and Lancaster half. We have ongoing debate in front of us as to where people can and can't stand, but it's Kilboy on the uh, right hand side. Ball across, nobody really on the end of it. And it is cleared into the area towards Harry Brazil. But there's the uh, header across from Brad Hubble. Is. Uh, Chris Rowney, ball into the area, that's headed clear by Jarvis. Harry Brazell on the edge of the area, but his shot is wide. It's blocked by Joe Denman, ball back into the area. There's a the shot from Lickoy, but uh, Atkinson does well. Time on the ball. Just hurrying them up at the moment. Header there from Ben Wharton. Here's Lewis Gilboy. So he uh, looks to get through there. Shots is wide. Or to be, be a little bit further on when the, the back line Lancaster have possession. If that's a loose ball by Mort. Ball out to the right hand side is Bailey crossing to the area. There's the head off the bar. Atkinson also getting a, a hand to it. I think it was David Norris with the header. Fantastic save from Atkinson there, tipping it onto the bar. Who's showing any composure at the moment? Ball moving forward. On towards Gilboy. Looking for options. Into the area it goes. Here's Ben Water with a shot. Save for off the post. Come and there's the equalizing goal. 26 minutes on the clock. And it's another FA Cup goal for Connor Comber, Andy Smythe. It took three attempts, but Berry finally equalised. It was a, initially a, a shot from Water. He did well, really, to get as much power behind it as he did. Holds on to the ball there. This ball finds Gilboy. To move forward is uh, the ball across to Ben Wharton, and that's over the bar, but he's offside. Forward is Bailey. Now uh, Jake Kenny. Wharton. Cross field ball to Matty Williams. Surging but run forward. He gets his ball into the box, blocked. Second opportunity is Gilboy. Now towards Anton Smith, brought down penalty. After they had two penalty decisions ruled out on Saturday. Referee tonight, Matthew McQuillian. No arguments in pointing to the spot there, Andy. Comments after the game on Saturday with the referee. Might have played into his mind with his frustrations of the decisions, but big chance here for Ben Wharton to put Berry in the lead. Everyone in the Berry dugout stood on their feet. Here's Ben Wharton with a the penalty. There's the goal! And Berry take the lead! 31 minutes gone at the Newman Stadium. And after going 1-0 down in the first five minutes, Berry lead by two goals to one. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way, did Wharton. Atkinson diving to his left. And Wharton just placing it to the, the opposite side. Obviously, good composure from Wharton there. It was a big moment in the game. Obviously still plenty of time to go. Plenty of time even before half-time, but... 
They'll be pleased that yeah, there's good defensive shape there by Lancaster. They got back in the position well. Really nullified any real options for Kenny. Here's Harry Brazell looking for options out towards Gilboy, right hand side, right corner of the area towards Ansel Smith as he looked to lay it back. It wasn't far off there, was Gilboy's ball to him. Ball forward now for Comba. Got plenty of free space down this left hand side. Plays in Jake Kenny. Ball into the area towards Ben Wharton. Anton Smith brought down. Referee not interested this time. Whittam on the left hand side. Plays it back to Jarvis, who first time plays it into the box. Headed towards goal. Atkinson punches it. Still inside the box now for Lancaster to take a shot. Clear off the line. Still with Lancaster now on the right hand side. Kenny. Nearby, ball into the box, across the six-yard box, cleared by Denman. And then it's the uh, free kick is lined up. Into the area. It goes. Hand there from Atkinson, and it's 2-2. Two -two. Ball moves forward here towards Louis Skillboy. Oh, he's cleared off the line by Niall Copperthwaite. Back towards Chris Rowney. Brought down. Well, that is half time. And after uh, a game of uh, chances that were, were few and far between at the weekend, Andy Smythe, four goals. In this first half, and again, chances are plenty for both sides. <laughs> Two assistants. And we are back underway. Into the area the ball goes and uh, is out for another corner. Good. It's still another corner now. Into the area it goes. Once again, plenty of movement from Lancaster in the 18 yard box. Ben Walton hooks clear. Only his I just need to keep the composure as they find it hard to keep the ball at the start of the second half. We've got it now with Gilboy. So uh, Gilboy looks to, to twist and turn. Yeah, he got past a couple of men okay then, but I just wonder if he, the, the next turn to go towards the byline was the right choice, I feel. For options, Evangelinos is Williams. Gilboy are oh, looking for options. Towards Anton Smith, looks to play in Gilboy. Again, there's Smith! Oh, it trickles just wide! To Bullen, and he's had a corner. This ball moves forward into the area. Shouts for handball. See it fall to Anderson in that goal. As Comba tries to win it, and he does. So Anderson is well out of his box here, or as the ball gets back across, Gilboy! And Barry have a third! As the crowd go into absolute pandemonium, Andy Smythe. That goal all comes down to the work of Comba. He chased the ball over, along the ball over the top. Anderson chained to collect it. Comba managed to get there first. He then beat the goalkeeper once, twice, three times. Eventually got the ball by the byline, played it to the six-yard box. Gilboy only had Copperthwaite on the line to beat. I didn't think he got enough power on it, but he managed to get it wide enough for the Lancaster captain to find the back of the net. Moves forward. Did Atkinson shout for that? Good opportunity there for shot on, shot on target from Atkinson. 
Lancaster look to move forward. Now Comba. Looking for options. So he's hacked down there. Uh, it's going to be a booking. Did really well. Now Hubbold. Is Anton Smith. Is Lewis Gilboy. Free on goal! And there's Bayes fourth! And the tenth goal of the season for that man, Lewis Gilboy Andy Smythe. What an outstanding finish that was from Lewis Gilboy. He was one on one with the goalkeeper. Bailey was coming across to get in front of him. He's managed to squeeze it in at the near post with such power, such precision into that top left-hand corner with the inside of his foot. It was a lovely way to pass from Anton Smith. He timed it perfectly out of Gilboy's run. But that finish was outstanding from the Berry White winger. What an outstanding finish that was from Lewis Gilboy. He was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Bailey was coming across to get in front of him. He's managed to squeeze it in at the near post with such power, such precision into that top left-hand corner with the inside of his foot. It was a lovely way to pass from Anton Smith. He timed it perfectly out of Gilboy's run. But that finish was outstanding from the Berry White winger. Time remaining. Ball forward. Gilboy again. Oh, a great touch there from Lewis Gilboy. Looking to twist and turn. Oh, and his shot is over the bar. A few times now, but a bit loose with the passes of Berry. We have two balls onto the pitch. It's, uh, it was uh, Ogunby. Looks like Jake Corley has come on with the wrong shirt number. They're in uh, 18 to Comba. Ball into the area, off the bar! Here's <laughs> Joe Denman. It's important he got that back pass right as Axon plays Comba in. Yeah, Comba down the right-hand side, looking for options. Takes the shot, oh, across the keeper, well saved. Have another corner. Sound advice. <laughs> Into the air it goes. Oh, there's a goal. Nick Evangelinos nipping in. Looking for options. Comba here doing the sensible thing, not trying to be too aggressive with the ball, just trying to keep possession. As he turns his man. Yeah, he does well there, does Combo! There's the header from... Uh, Gilboy. Gilboy That's... there. Into the final minute of stoppage time. Well, obviously had an extra third. As, uh, Ansel Smith nips in! Oh, there's a goal! Very alert there was Anton Smith. Poor goalkeeper from Charlotte Curtis Anderson in the uh, Lancaster goal. And I think those nerves have been decimated, Andy Smith. They have. Again, it was the alert play from, from Smith, similar to Comba for the earlier goal. It was just a throw-in that went back to Anderson. Smith then looked to pounce. He's looked to slide in. He's won the ball and it's just crept in. I didn't want to say it to jinx him, but Anton Smith, for me, is almost pushing Gilboy for a man of the match. Obviously, he came on in the... Oh, and there he is, the final whistle. And Berry FC broke themselves into the third qualifying round of the FA Cup.